But I caught myself tonight. Or I should say spirit did. And quickly steered me back to the, you deserve it because you've done the hard work. You've done it. There's no such thing as cheating. You didn't cheat. You worked every single day for nearly 20 years to enjoy the level of success that you now have. You worked every day. So what would make you think that you don't deserve it? And you know, I realized that I had heard some people around me at some point in my life tell me that I didn't deserve it. You've heard me say at 19 years old, my uncle slapped me in my face, a very bitch move. Slap me in my face. He was known for slapping people. Slapped me in my face and told me I would never be nothing or have anything. Yeah, he did that at 19. It sparked a fight because I didn't believe what he said. But you have to be careful because people will try to poison you. Poison your thought processes. Poison your ideals. Poison what you think of yourself. It's something. You have to think about that. You can't allow people to shape your mind. It's unfortunate that when you are born into a family, they're your first teachers. They're your first educators. You learn things from them teaching you and then you learn things subconsciously by being around them. And sometimes you can learn negative things. You can learn bad things. I was around people such as my uncle who do not, did not love themselves, appreciate themselves, always was thinking about suicide, always was never happy with themselves, or didn't love themselves, didn't appreciate who he was, his gayness, et cetera, et cetera. It was always a remorse there. And for a while in my life, I picked up that attitude. I had that attitude. But then the real me kicked in and how I thought about myself far beyond what I was taught, but what I felt and what I knew in my heart and in my mind about myself kicked in. And that led me to greener pastures. But you really can't have everybody around you. You can't. It's unfortunate that the first people on this earth to ever validate you are your family members. And your family can invalidate you very quickly. They can instill negativity very quickly. And then you're stuck because you trust them. You let them in beyond the veil And you believe what they say. And that's the worst thing of it all. But see, I know myself better than most people know themselves. I have always had a very strong sense of self. And in having a very strong sense of self, I have been the type of person that always resorted to what I believed in myself, not just what people said. Not just what people said. So, they didn't win. He didn't win. Those people, I've had many people try to talk me down in my life, put me in my place in my life. But uh, how can you tell me what my place is? You're not me. You don't know what I know. You don't have what I have. You don't have the talents, the skills, the intellect, the abilities. You can only govern your life, not mine. 
which is kind of crazy because now that I mentor, I help to govern the lives of many people. But I don't do that from a standpoint of trying to change them. My mentoring is never a critique. I don't like critiques. I've never liked critiques. I don't invite critiques. I don't accept critiques. Nobody asked you. Mind your fucking business. Worry about your own life and not what's going on over here. That's always been my idea of criticism. It's always been my idea. I don't criticize. You know, in some of my interviews, I've been asked opinions. Well, what do you think of this? And what do you think of that? And I've given my opinion. But um, I'm not one of those people who offer opinions on how people live their lives. Especially when they didn't ask me to do so. You're not paying me to do so. You're not paying me to look at your life and to deduce what's going on and try to come up with a plan to fix it. I get paid for that. And I don't go around offering free critiques or free advice. Um, But yeah, criticism is not where I live. But I had to catch myself tonight. I had to realize that You know, it's not normal for me to say to myself, wow, you're going to be so wealthy, even wealthier than you are right now. And then the next thought be, oh, but I don't deserve it. That's not the, that's not the right pathway. It's not the right thing to think. The next thing that you should think after validating yourself should be hell yeah, hell fucking yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be even wealthier. I'm going to work and I'm going to amass a fortune and I can do it. That should be the thought process, the normal thought process. 